Within Blender, we can import STL files, but depending on the settings of the software, those will not be brought in at their true scale, they will be most likely scaled. By default, Blender is set to meters. If you're gonna go over here within the scene properties, for units, we're gonna see that the system unit is set to metric. So for the case study, I will make use of this copper key from Artec 3D database. We see it has a free free download. I will also put the link right in the, the video description. This is the STL file. And uh, this was scanned using Artec Micro, which is this scan, 3D scanner. So let's see, I already have that file downloaded. So this is the copper key STL file. I will go within Blender and file, import, choose the file format for STL. And we can see that within the dialog box for uh, Blender STL file importer, we have the possibility to change the scale. By default, this is set to one. And I will leave it like this with one and I will import the STL. And we're gonna see that, keep in mind that the main cube within Blender has a length of two meters. You can also verify that using the measure tool to the left. We can enable snapping and afterwards we can snap that. So we see that the length of the cube is two meters in this case. If I will go by pressing one on numpad, go to the side view and I will measure the key. So this will be measured roughly since there are a lot of vertex on that edge. But roughly we're gonna see that this key has um, more than uh, 57 meters. So the problem is that by default Blender considers that the file scene is in meters and everything that is open in STL file format will be set to that um, that unit. In order to, to change that, so this is a problem of the STL files, they don't have information regarding the true size, they only have the coordinates for each vertex, but it doesn't specify the true scale of the model. So each software will import this uh, differently. For example, within Katia, which is a computer-aided design software, if I will go within the Digital Shape Editor Workbench, I will go to Import. This will be the same, so importing STL files. But the main difference is that over here we have the possibility to change the file unit. So this software by default uses millimeters, while Blender by default uses meters. So the same uh, file, if I will load it, leave it to a scale factor of one, I'm gonna have that mesh imported. And in order to measure this rapidly, I will go and draw a sketch and I will make use of a line. A line that will roughly go to the middle of the, the key and we're gonna see that this has 57 millimeters in this case. So if we intend to 3D print this, it will be much easier to work with it since this is a true scale in millimeters. Now, within Blender, we have the possibility to change that either by going to File, Import, again for STL. We can change the scale to be 0 0.001. So this is the difference between millimeters and meters. We can apply that scale. And we're gonna see that the newly imported STL file for the key will will be over there, so it will be quite small within that default cube. I will just hide that cube for now, and I will press one with the second smaller key added. Afterwards, I will press the slash in order to zoom in on that. I will reactivate the snapping tool, and we're gonna see that this will be imported through value, so 0.0. .0 75 meters in this case. So this is how we can uh, can work with Blender. So that key we see how small it is 
and now when I zoom out you're gonna see that everything else will no longer be visible this is because of the camera clipping if you're gonna press N on the keyboard you're gonna see over here the clipping start and clipping end and we can increase those so let's set the end like that and the clipping start somewhere like that and we should have those keys visible so we select the larger key press uh, slash in order to zoom on that and we're gonna see that we have the that key appeared on appeared uh, visible okay so i hope you find this video useful i know that there's a lot of struggle regarding true scale file import mainly with stl since this is a file format that doesn't have that file size added directly to the the file another option is to select the original key we can go to modifier properties or uh, object properties sorry and we can change the scale over here so 0.01 .01 or x y and z and we're gonna see that this will also scale that key so we have that key and the other one okay so if you enjoy this this content please uh, consider to to support me in creating more videos so thanks for watching remember to stay creative and see you in the next video